Hello, and welcome to your multi-sense fusion memory training session. In it, you will learn how to create an audiographic code as well as memorize the 44 symbols of the International Phonetic Alphabet. These make up about 97% of the sounds in the English language and include 11 of the most frequently used words or expressions in English. Introduction Creating your first 20 audiographic codes assisting you in satisfying most of your major pronunciation and memorization needs. First, you will be presented with the symbol itself. You will then create, using your creative imagination, a representation of 1. How it might be visualized 2. How it sounds 3. How it feels and or how it is written and 4. How to incorporate all of this into an instant. These correspond to four of your senses. Visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and temporal. The ancient Egyptians believed that the fully realized human had total mastery of 360 senses. What follows here in the introduction is the long version of how to create an audiographic code. Your ultimate goal is to do this for each IPA symbol in less than 9 seconds. Let's look at an example using the first vowel sound in the IPA chart. First, we add a visual dimension. The image you use for this preferably originates in your creative imagination, and it can come from English, Vietnamese, or Japanese. However, it must be irrevocably associated with the sound of the IPA symbol. Here are some sample memory enhancement images from both languages. Each one of these, spiced up with your creative imagination, would be fine as a memory enhancement image. But, for illustrative purposes, I'm going to go with Eagle. Stay with me on this for the moment. You can change it later if you wish. Next, we add an auditory dimension. Do this enough times so you can irrevocably associate it with both image and symbol. You need to own this sound. Next up, we add a kinesthetic dimension. It's very useful to be aware of what your mouth is doing. This is what your mouth absolutely needs to be doing. Alternatively, you can mime it in some way. You might want to imagine that you are an eagle tracing out the contours of the symbol as you feel the image and its corresponding sound. Next, we need to encode the temporal dimension. Feel, see, and hear the sound, images, and words as you compact all the preceding and or the following into an instant. Then, after everything has disappeared, try to see, hear, and feel it again with your mind's eye and ear, i.e. your creative imagination. Here is one way to do it. And here is another. And that's how you might create a memory image for the first vowel in the IPA chart. 
To ensure deep and lasting memorization, you need to reenact, repeat, and recycle variations of the proceeding at repeated intervals. Your goal is to do something like this for each IPA symbol and take no longer than from between six and nine seconds. Can you do it? I'm absolutely sure you can. Click on the link below for a mini module on memorizing the IPA symbols for all 12 vowels and creating AGCs. We're based in Hanoi and ever so busy, but do consider joining us. You can catch us at any of the locations below.